Hello folks, welcome to another Impossible Creatures World Cup match, this time between Poland and Israel. It's just me on the mic today, sorry to everyone watching at home. This might not even get uploaded, depending on how my recording software cooperates, but we shall see. Jumping into game one on Hill Fort. This is a map that I, I've been doing a bit of research on, because it is where I am next playing on as well, and you have so much money at hole. Two four coil piles right at your base, right? All easily defensible, all easily mineable. That's eight whopping coal piles. I think that might be the highest start of any of the maps in the pool. And the rest of the map is just littered. There's geysers everywhere. If we after we take out the enemy after left, Rex, this island would make for some nice beachfront property. We got this massive concentration of coal in mid. Here we have Team Poland playing on the left. Early rods going down. Team Israel on the right with early rods of their own. We might see some fast twos and some early combat. Nothing too out of the ordinary. A bit of a forward rod from Yagami, but uh, that's pretty exciting. Team Poland here, I should say. Represented by Poglin and Yagami Raito. Team Israel with Ware and Boda. We've seen some exciting stuff. There's a fence going down, but nothing... Not to be completed, it looks. He's just going to have a wee look around with this henchman. Find that Poglin isn't doing a... Th or is he going further? Where are you off to, little man? Now, this is interesting to me because I've wondered if you fence off in this sort of area, or maybe just throwing down a lightning. Yeah, and that's a very forward lightning rod. He'll be able to sneakily gather electricity until Team Poland decide to look for this expansion. Now, this fence is getting put up, but it's a follow-up fence from Puglin, and he's coming with two henchmen round the back. They will be spotted out, it looks like. Yeah, just crossing paths with his henchmen. Let's see if Ware notices the twos being hit, presumably from Poland. Team Israel not quite there yet, and that's the water chamber from Yagami going down. This is a bit scary. This is a bit sketchy, but yes, we're hitting level 2. He did see his henchman. He is seeing these water chambers come down, so you've got to think he's going to prepare something of his own. Forward chamber going down from Boda, but he's going to run into this fence if he's not fast. Oh, this is a bit scary. Some dolphin coyotes. These are pretty beefy boys, but reduce damage to henchmen. You can't go that far forward. We've got cuttlefish bolus spider. Poor choice, I want to say, but here we see where great response actually. This lightning rod build actually giving him an opportunity to go on the offensive. I love to see it. Let's see if he has the resources to be able to defend for long enough to do some damage. I mean, that's a lot of resources from Team Poland sunk in, and this artillery is actually going to do a great job. Thing about Sonic is that this sound beam is going to cause it a lot of problems, but the double range is stuck on 4 HP, but. Let's see, we've got some Beethovens coming out on the counter-attack. I am loving this from Team Israel. But you got to think where is not looking too hot in his base right now. Here comes Crazy Jake around the back. He just needs to try and do enough damage for his ally to keep the pressure up. And yeah, we see it. The unholy creations rolling into Yagami's base as well. I mean, where is done for, surely. But... It's all about keeping this Polish team down, and it looks like we're seeing some serious damage. What are these gazelle scorpions? All of Yagami's hench off mining, well, all of his closer henchmen, and this barrier destroy is going to be so good. If he can pick off these repairing henchmen, he's in such a good spot. That is so much damage on Yagami. Where is falling? Puglin expanding into his corpse base. The, he needs to be attacking with all these units, like... Where it cannot afford. He does not got much time left. His lap is falling. These guys could have done so much more damage, but it looks like Will will survive without too many casualties. You cannot say the same for Yagami, but this huge army is simply going to march on down. There's not even a fence to stop them. See what kind of defense Boda can pull out. His units are fast. They will be able to match up if they can come back, but Yagami's base is falling, but... This is scary, these slow 
Cowpokes are all heading down the Great Migration. Boda has hit three, though. Hopefully that will give him the edge in the defense. It will give him access to Lab D, which will certainly be huge. Yagami actually not moving these units up. This is just a slow trickle from Puglin. That is not the kind of damage that needs to be done. His Lab is already on the rope. A chamber coming down, but you gotta think with the number of units here, it's just too little too late for Yagami. But Puglin getting his economy sprawling, spreading. His units are finally marching into the base of Boda. Might be able to get a return kill here. The, the lab is falling so fast. There's so much damage. Barrier destroyed. Crazy Jake taking a few out. And the repair might actually be able to keep up. 1,000 health. It's going to fall further, but these the single Crazy Jake is taking them all on. Seeing more attack from the water. 200 health. 100 50 uh, and there it goes it falls but you gotta think there's a huge number of units from taking the pressure off from Boda's base but he lost most of his offensive force to the crazy jakes at home and with the way Puglin has spread his fingers through this map the way he's already in Boda's base there's no mining happening this looks done I do like the way Team Israel responded, and just a little quicker, maybe, just a little more attention to the counter-attack, they might have been able to pull through, but great strength from Puglin, holding the fort back home, able to get revenge for his fallen brother. I mean, we really need to see these henchmen come out. I, I, there's just so much mining happening for Puglin. He's got this generator over here. He's got this one. Well, now he has this one at home. Actually, not as much as I thought he had. He invested a lot into that rush, but this top right base is definitely going to do him good. But here we see a lot of units coming out from Boda. I'm surprised he's able to maintain this economy. He's got a whole bunch of henchmen sitting in the water. Where is the... You're getting the money for this. This generator's been up for a while, but finally going to get taken out by Octagunther himself. But here we go, finally fending off the push on the front, but here comes another from the back. Pardon the extrusion. And there's just no time to get any coal at home for poor old Boda. This expo has not been mining for ages either. And here come the forward sound beams. It's going to be hard for his army to come back and defend. And henchmen just falling for free. No no response, sound beams or anything. Finally defending this water chamber from these Octagunthers in the south. These flash garfish are gorgeous, by the way. And yeah, sure, he's keeping up some pressure on the front, but <laughs> the perma frenzy to kite back away from that poison. Great presence of mind. Can't really afford to use flash with his own units here as well. But he is taking them out, but his base is not looking hot at home. Trying his hardest, finally punching some stuff out, but it it, it looks like curtains. Another f swathe of henchmen just looking to expand further on this map. This lone crazy Jake, he's done his job and he's not willing to go any further. Probably not really producing anything at home, but you've got to think it's done at this point. Yeah, sure, these anteaters are coming back to defend, but there's just no production. There's just no economy. Creature chambers getting plopped down in his base. These henchmen more content to just fight a lab instead of building them. But with the final few units getting taken out for Boda, it looks over. No. Pretty strong showing in the early game from Boda, but Puglin able to take over the map, take over the game, and take the win for Poland. We'll wonder what we will see Israel pick for game number two in this set. Last time, when they were down a game, they picked face-off, mm, almost to their doom, but I wonder if they will try and pull it off again. Might have a better time against Team... Look at the way this guy's legs move while he's running. He is going crazy. He's attacking his own lab. He knows it's done. <laughs> yeah, and the lab will not last much longer. Manor Expo here. Just keep things up. <laughs> the the Avengermen are actually rallied to punch the lab. Love to see it. But wow, great presence of mind from Team Israel to go straight on the counter-attack there. 
even with the fences up, that sneaky henchman early on, able to let Ware do a little damage at home, at Will's home. I, I, I think maybe he should have known that his base was going to fall, so he should have just tried to do as much damage as possible. Maybe if he had taken out the henchman that had come to build the water chamber, Will would not have been able to expand so easily. And yeah, you can see with the scores, <laughs> couple players having it rough, couple players stealing the show. Let's see where we're headed for game number two. <laughs> commenting on the Garfish names. I didn't actually check it myself because I'm a terrible, terrible person. But let's have a look. <laughs> oh, crushing, crushing. No wonder my title, my, my belt was swiped right under my nose last night. We <laughs> see how this goes. <laughs> I accept your apology, Team Israel, but you're on thin ice. Well, you might not be. But you might. Who knows? Alright, looks like we're ready to hop into this second game here. I'm excited to see what Israel has prepared for the second game. Good. <laughs> this is the army for you. All right. And it's like we're still <laughs> hovering on all used up, which is probably not the map we're going to see, but they have picked face off. And yeah, I'm excited to see what they've got coming cuz last time they looked almost underprepared, but they've that loss must have shaken them up a bit. They've got to know that to pre it pays to be prepared. <laughs> Boda just ripping into me non-stop. Tragic. Sad. <laughs> if it was slower on Hillfort, you would have chosen Hillfort again. But alas, Hillfort is the speed it's always been, and we will see this face-off game. I'm excited. Well, let's see if Poland has anything special up their sleeve for this one, because, I mean, Hillfort is a... It's a map that always tends to end games quickly. Your bases are so close, the resources are so concentrated. Really got to get going in that early game, because there's not much room for a comeback. But let's wait and see. <laughs> just waiting on Team Poland readying up here. Well, Boda has just, you know, forsaken me and unchecked his little box. Tragic. <laughs> Left, right, and center hooks. There we go. Looks like all the players are... Getting set to go. Will be interesting to see, to be sure, to be sure. <laughs> Yagami, yeah, you're really slowing me down here. The momentum's all fallen away from me. Here we go. Selecting his color can only be a good sign. Here. Countdown begins. And we will hop straight into the game. No loading screen, how tragic. But these lovely cheetah rhinos, they're just looking pretty. Look at this original Rex Chance army right here. Very nice. And 
I apologize. This is likely my load speed holding up the game. If we can take out all enemy labs, this island is ours for the taking. Okay, coming into game number two here, we can see Team Poland once again spawning on the left-hand side with Team Israel on the right. Pretty similar build orders across the board. Where for going his early rod, sending out an early henchman instead. Where are you looking, little man? Just going for a quick swim. This island looks rather warm. Let's have a look at that skybox. Yeah, you gotta feel, think that he is feeling the heat. But this fence will be spotted early before much goes down. Yeah, there goes Puglin. He's just gonna saunter right on by. You gotta think he's gonna be claiming this generator early on. There's where with another henchman down south. And yeah, there goes the generator down. But will he get punched out before he gets there? This fence... <laughs> being abandoned, not going to play its role, and yeah, where henchmen are ready for combat, they are punching, they are chasing, you gotta think Will's just gonna send another one down to finish that off as he goes for a little swim, can't blame him. Here we go, another rod going down, and another one of hench uh, Yagami's henchmen getting punched out, early expansion, he's the only one with a workshop right now. Nobody pushing two on Team Poland, and Boda gonna be the first there, but you gotta think with these defensive fences from Israel, not much to worry about. This generator finally going up, and this henchman running for his life. Where will you go? Oh, he actually drops aggro, but <laughs> here come the goons, ready to keep up the pressure. This henchman from where it's... Duck treading water for the rest of time. And there we go. Yagami following Boda's early two there. We will s probably see the other players catch up shortly. Will claiming another generator. We're getting this one down south. Going to lose a henchman to a punch for free, but I suppose he is buying time if nothing else. A lot of early geyser control from Puglin. Not much in the way of coal economy, but Yagami has got his back. He is all in on that expansion. And yeah, there's some flash fish, fish flash from Boda. Anglerfish, zebras, you love it. High endurance flash, very nice for dealing with some pesky range units, such as these zebron frogs that Yagami is producing at home. Here comes the water chamber from Puglin, and these fences really just abandoned before they could get anywhere. Some sound beams and some idle hench from Team Israel. We have some panther cockroaches called Beethoven, readying an assault. But here we go, Ali Oop, Firefly Alligator, not too shabby. Just a nice jack-of-all-trades unit, but... Boda does have Amphibious level 2, so he should be able to fight off no problem, chasing them into the water. I think these guys match up reasonably well. Here we see some sound beams getting built up, finishing at the exact same time. You'll love to see it, and these henchmen valiantly tanking for these sound beams. And yeah, there's not going to be too much damage done, except if Ware pulls literally everyone off his mining line. Getting attacked at the top expo as well. Yagami coming in to claim this middle gen. This water chamber not going anywhere. But here come the fish flashes. Match up really well against the units. But coming into the sound beam. But Yagami's units aren't amphibious. They can't defend this water chamber. Good play from Boda. Not losing his units for free. But here we see poor old Beethoven stuck staring at the shore. We're going in to build a water chamber, but it's actually blocked out by these cutlets. So, gonna have a hard time there. And level 3 for Yagami Raito, Team Israel. Boda's almost there. We'll be able to match the pressure a little. The range unit's coming up to the high ground. That is good. You want to see this flash come out, surely. You really wish... Beethoven should get a little bit of damage done here. If he had come around here, then maybe he could have got all of them in melee range, but that's fine. These sound beams going to do a good job. These cuttlefish with their short range will struggle to hit them on around this cliff. That one just sneaking into a corner, but it looks like they're content to take out henchmen that don't exist at an expo. The damage towards economy has been hefty, but with Boda at three at last, hopefully he can mount some pressure in return. I'd love to see him keep pairing these 
level 2 flash units with some level 3s just so that he can deal with all this range that Yagami's messing up. If he times his attack properly, gets a flash off before sending his own range in. Very spammy, spitting Kinas. Sinas, perhaps, as his name is. Taking out this generator from Yagami. Yagami's not got much in the way of electricity income, but that is balanced out by what Will has been producing. He's got some Lammergeier walking sticks just chilling over here, waiting to mass up some numbers. Probably do some nasty damage to the base. The flash is coming out, the unit's getting taken down. These level 3s are going to match up great, though. I love this naked tuna. <laughs> Getting a little distracted over here. We've got the flashing horse. Great job getting all those units. They're all getting spat at slowly. But none of them falling. We do have the artillery from Yagami able to come in clutch as well. We've got some spitunas. But it looks like this middle generator is going to fall. That's a lot of spitting Xenas. And we will see. We're looking to take this top generator. But Puglin's here. I've just noticed. <laughs> I wasn't paying that much attention to that. This is actually Pugling's expansion here. It's it's held for quite some time. And he's holding both these top ones as well. Both are doing a good job taking these bases, but he needs to get those fully staffed with henchmen. Yes, he is producing. But here come the flyers to take out the sound beams and probably a lot more. Some anti-air towers going down, but I don't know if they are going to get up in time. The henchmen all falling. This is looking really rough. And yeah, with the constant pressure from Yagami to the south as well, this is going to do some serious damage. There go all Boda's henchmen at home. Oh, his economy is hurting after that one. And yeah, with Yagami pushing from the south as well, it's going to be really tough for Israel to hold this off. Great flash placement, by the way. Tagging all of Yagami's army and only catching a few of his own ranged units. I'm wondering if you can flash to deal with the flyers as well. They seem to have been largely taken out. Um, or they're just retreating over here, trying to deal with some fish at home. These poos will do some serious damage to the mining lines, and they're just walking back into their doom. It's a lot of henchmen lost, but with Yagami at four now, and his army is already massive, this is going to be really tough for Israel to deal with. There's no hench production from Boda's lap, despite losing so many. And yeah, the constant pressure from these flyers as well. Forward chambers coming out from Puglin, getting his war chambers back up in mid, and it looks like Israel is hemmed in, trapped in their own base. Would love to see another big flash come out. These fish flashes getting produced in the back, but in the top we see the tuna spiders begin their march and the proxy air chambers so we can keep the lammer guyers coming. We're doing a good job just keeping these fish swimming around, but they are caught by this defensive force. And you've got to think, with just the sheer force of numbers, with Yagami at four, there's just no real way for Israel to come back in this game. Boda still not resuming mining. We're actually coming in to mine from his allies' base. Bulillas from Yagami Raito. This is a cute unit, and not something we usually see. Taking out these horses, no problem at all, especially with the support from the ranged. I'm hearing a hench heal somewhere, but looks like the offensive GG from Poland. That's very rude of them. But either way, it does look as if Israel is about to fall. This just huge swarm of level 4s in the south, the Tunas in the north, and the base in the north, really. These flyers come in and swing and deal a killing blow, but more than content to just produce them one at a time up here. Here we go, we're seeing some more come in from the west. This game has been decided for a while now, I would have thought. Good showing in the early game. Boda... Sad to go out, and I don't blame him. They put up a great performance, especially for a team that we've not really seen much of. But, yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. Just a huge number of flyers, a huge number of units 
just everywhere. Look at these forward sound beams. And yeah, the final buildings falling. The lab's taking so long to die. Yeah, these guys are great for taking out mining lines, but they are certainly don't match up so well against buildings. Gummy coming in with the manor workshop. <laughs> this air chamber has taken so much damage, but only by his own hand. I'm wondering how many of Yagami's melee units will survive the onslaught. It's like the air units are finally all pulling back to catch a henchman that was going on a journey, and there is everyone leaving the game, and that will be Poland taking it 2-0 over Israel. And let me just have a look in the... Ba -ba -bing. I wonder if they will come and join the casting call, but let's have a look at all these scores galores. You can just see the sheer number of units. <laughs> Yagami actually doing more damage, but the resources gathered, it's just once all those henchmen had fallen, it was so hard for Israel to get their foot back into the game. I hear some static, I can only assume that Poland approaches. <laughs> That's the static of an approaching Poland. <laughs> so how are you feeling after that game? Yeah. There's two games. Hello. <laughs> Pretty good, pretty good. Um, that <laughs> that hillfort strategy, the double rush. Uh, every single time we try it, we lose. <laughs> but we just wanted to do it so badly. Yeah, I uh, mean, it almost went so poorly for you. The great counterattack from Boda taking Yagami out, but well, that's literally the only time we've done it and not lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but props to you. Great showing. And the second game was just pretty dominant throughout. Claiming the expansion within Bear Ware's base as well early on and just keeping a hold of it. And that early geyser control really just kind of skyrocketed you into a victory there, I think. Yeah, it was an irresponsible geyser. I got that when I really couldn't afford the 200 coal, but um, sometimes it works out, you know. Mm, absolutely. Um, and Yagami doing... First of all, Yagami almost surviving that first game. He's like, he was so oh, close. Oh, it was so close. Watching the health so bar good. take down. We uh, we tried to get it as close as possible for the replay, obviously, but I guess we just miscalculated. Yeah. Uh, uh, and Israel's in the call. Uh, great game, guys. Thanks so much. <laughs> Can you leave now? Oh, hello. Yes. Well, that was a really fast rush in the first game. Really unexpected. You, well, you guys did a pretty great rush as well. <laughs> you just killed your gummy. Well, actually, that it wasn't the plan. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, well, it's complicated, but uh, not to get into details, it was really hard. Like, wow. And, well, uh, thanks, guys. Were you guys well, we tried our best. We tried our best, but it was really... Like, wow, another level. You did great. You killed half of the Polish team. <laughs> uh, were you planning yeah, in face-off to do some uh, artillery strategies? Yeah, but we couldn't do it because, um, I don't know, some, someone, anyone rushed us? I don't know. I just couldn't get it. I had to micro so many uh, different places in the map. And yes. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, that's face off, hey. But thank you so much. Those were awesome games. Yeah, well played to both teams, but we will see Poland advancing into the next round. Do you know who you're up against? As a matter of fact, I do. And the only reason I'm taking so long to tell you is for dramatic effect, and not because I closed the spreadsheet before the game. <laughs> it's going to be. Uh, but, but, oh, it's going to be talking Yabba. Oh, Team Netherlands. Oh, and the first game is going to be on vignette. That's a that's a map they like a lot. This is true. But thanks, thanks so much for Israel. You you guys have been fantastic in this tournament. So much fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you. And uh, we enjoyed the tournament as well. Me and Boda. See you next year when you have a better computer. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Alright guys, that'll be me signing off. Thank you to both teams. That was a fun one. And I will see you all later.